Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm YouTube's Poppy J and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human Revisited. We are streaming live on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously right now. Thank you to Adrian who was in the chat early on fucking YouTube there. Hope you're doing well, man. It has been a while. Has been a hot second since we've spoken. Um, let's get back into it. Before we do, I'll recap for you guys what has happened so far uh also you can keep up with both chats youtube and twitch down below they should be displaying thank you if you are watching after this gets re-uploaded as well on youtube and twitch after the fact i appreciate that as well but this is how we're playing it man connor in this we are playing straight as an arrow he is a 100 percent cop he is not deviating at all um Marcus, we are going to deviate 100% as Marcus and do it in the most violent way possible. And then for Kara, I'm still on the fence what's going to happen. We'll just see how that one plays out, I think, during the uh, during the streams. And we'll see where we just naturally kind of go with that one. Well, thank you again for anyone that's joining me live in chat. Um, let me get the game up here. We should be good, hopefully. Let's just wait for that to come up. Come on. But yeah, how is everybody, man? It's been a while. Detroit time. Once again. Uh, Detroit, come on. There we go. All right, so I don't know where we left off. I think we're playing as Connor going to the crime scene. I think that's where we're at at the moment. Oh, key out. November 5th, 2038. 11.21 p.m. Always with the coin tricks. Always with the coin tricks. Alright. Let's do it. Jimmy's bar. No androids allowed. Wow. It's bodiced. Why are you so bodiced here? Bodiced bastard. <laughs> What's going on here? Alright, it's uh, this guy right here, front and center. This is the man. What's your problem? Scam faces. Alright, so I think you have to scam one face, but it's this guy here, I believe. Is it gonna make me scan? Okay, it's gonna make me scan everyone. I already know who it is. There we go. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for uh, the that opening line. Where you were. That opening line, classic. You were probably having a drink nearby. Mean to death now though, to but still, great line. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Yeah, I yeah. Need any assistance, especially not yeah, I can, can see that, Mr. Mr. Guzzleguts. Robot and get the fuck out of here. Understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids. But I am perfectly So what we're going to do with Connor every time that we're here crush you like an empty beer can. <laughs> every time I'm just going to persist I'm sorry lieutenant but I must insist My instructions stipulate that I have to Yeah so what we're going to do with Connor we're just going to play him whatever his mission is no. that's his main objective he's just going to stay straight as an arrow no deviating I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. Okay. I'll wait for you outside. Yep. Take your time. Did you say homicide? 
See, Hank's got a good heart. He's he's a good man. Down, deep down, deep down. All right, let's do it. It's interesting, man. Again, this is the first time I'm playing all of this on PC, but it's interesting because they. It looks like they've cleaned up like the textures just a little bit more on PC, or maybe it's just running a little bit, uh, a little bit better. But uh, firm. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. <laughs> Conflicting orders. All right, let's do it. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming it. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Hmm. It's with me. It. I have feeling. Well, maybe not. You don't talk, I don't know. You don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. You were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? I'm very yep. funny. Just tell me <laughs> Yeah, he, he looks very happy about it too. He's very happy about having an android partner. They'll go to like each other, don't worry. Jesus, that smell was even worse. I mean, that's the thing. There's gonna come times where Connor's just gonna be an arsehole because I'm just doing the objective. So, like, if it comes to saving egg or doing stuff like that, I'm kind of gonna avoid all of that and just focus on the main objective so that's how we're gonna play connor he's gonna be very cold theft and aggravated assault according to the neighbors he was kind of a loner stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw him uh, okay but worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night could have waited till morning let's have a look at the evidence here I'd what do we got oh we got some little druggies we got some ice there, mate. The coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife. Bloody ice Alex, mate. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. What do we got? The landlord said the front door was locked north side. All the windows were That's not up. a north. The killer must have gone out the back way. No prints. Android. That's the interesting thing, because you'd much. think that they put something on there to happened, kind of distinguish between the androids then. But I guess that would make it very difficult. Dried blood. Yep. Maybe don't lick that in front of everyone. It's a little gross. Dried blood. What do we got here? What do we got? Female dancers. Oh, that's foreshadowing because we end up going there, right? Is that a robot? <laughs> that's creepy, dude. Creep me out. Hmm. Let's have a look, see. Ooh, got some blood on the walls here. All right. This one, yeah, this one's all starting to come back to me a little bit now. I'm starting to remember. I think he's up in an attic, right? Oh, there's the missing knife. Damn. Each letter is perfect. Way too neat. No human rights like this. Hmm. And the baseball bit. Human fingers are on it. And. Dent. Oh, that's right, because he was hitting the android. That's what caused it to deviate, right? He was like beating the shit out of the android. That's the thing, man. At what point, like. Do morals and ethics kind of come into it? That is the moral and 
That is the question that we're kind of posing on this episode, I guess. Or this little look here at, right at Detroit. Is that what point so. do ethics come into example, play when it comes to androids when you give them this much kind of mobility and resemblance to actual humans? Chris, I want full analysis. Like, when does it stop just being an android and kind of to the point where you need to treat it proper like a fucking human? The interesting question but that's the thing with AI it's the AI question that's kind of as old as time is um is a is it a good thing or bad thing for humanity door was locked from the inside killer must have gone out this way no there are no footprints apart from officer Collins size 10 shoes well this happened weeks ago tracks could have faded no this type of soil would pertain a trace. Hmm. Nobody's been out here for a long time. There you go. Deviant didn't escape. Look at that, Hank. I can be more helpful than you think. Gotta use me, Hank. Um, should I go look at the body again now that he's done? Ah. Let's examine this now. As he said, no human rights like that, right? Oh, it's the it's the actual font for the game. That's the thing, they created their own font for this and shit. It's awesome. Everything about this game is kinda cool. Hello sexy. Deceased. Carlos Otis. Oh, 28 stab wounds. God damn. Eternal bleeding. 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Jesus Christ. That's fucking brutal. What else? Hand. Fingerprints. Theft and aggravated assault. Hmm. Yeah, that's why there's blood traced everywhere. Because it happened in the kitchen and came out here. Yep. Mmm. Very brutal. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. I think I know what happened, sir. I got this. I've only got nine? Hang on. No, I need ten out of ten. What am I missing? Fuck that. What am I missing? Hmm. What else? What else? Because he's up there. There's an attic there. I know that. Bathroom? Ah, thank you. See? Alright, let's... Eat it, it's chocolate. Chug it. Alright, now we've got 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! That's all we want. <laughs> I'm allergic to your bullshit there, officer. You're gonna have to mu Oh, wait, you're coronavirus. Stop. Good on you. Look at you. That's officer quarantine right there. He's the, he's the best that Detroit has. The best, the greatest. There's no one like him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. All right, oh, yeah. let's do it. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are 
obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? That is the I think question. The attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. And then, it's like the <laughs> what is it, dude? Where's my car thing? And then, no, and then. Android stabbed the victim. Yeah. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Correct. Okay, then what happened? The scuffle. The victim fled to the living room. The living room. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Yep. Alright. What happened? Sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Yeah. Of course, there's 28 stab wounds. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. Jesus, dude. That's fucking <laughs> What a vicious android. Jesus Christ. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. Blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, but you can see it, right? I bet you can still see it, can't you? <laughs> I remember that Correct. one. Alright. I already know where he is. Let's go over there. So that's the thing, man. So this one. Even in the in the, in the uh, interrogation that we have to do later on, we're going to play this where Connor is just by the book and um, and doesn't really give a shit about the uh, the ro the um, deviants. So he he's just got the one objective that he's got programmed. That's what we're doing. We're not deviating in any shape, way, or form of Connor. Where is my super suit? Where is my ladder? It's in here, right? No, there's something behind it though. Brooms. All right. So we got to get up there. So yeah, with Kona, we're not going to deviate at all. Marcus, we are deviating 100% and doing it violently. Because <laughs> why not? And then with Kara, we still need to decide what the best approach will be with that. Because I don't know how to play that one. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything you can really choose to different with uh, with Kara's story, though. And again, I've only played through this once, so. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Yeah. Fuck off, Hank. <laughs> Fuck off, boy. Check something. All right, let's go. You know, Hank, I don't like saying fuck off to you, man. Don't like that. Don't make me do it. All right. Let's go get this deviant ass. Well, sweet Jason, boy. Get your deviant ass over here. Oh, that's creepy. If, I, if Connor sounded like that through the game. Well, sweet Jesus, Hank, he's over here. It is Chubby Mannequin. Alright, come on. Trying to give me the chibi jibbers. Halloween is over, mate. You gotta come down from the attic. There he is. Let's get him. We got this, don't worry. Well, I mean, we got him cornered in a fucking in a thing, right? So even if I even if I take my sweet old time, he's gonna he's gonna still be here. He's cornered. I remember first playing this though. This built such good tension, and I had like uh, where did I play it? PS4? And I had um, my headphones connected 
And it scared the shit out of me. It built tension so fucking well. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. Not my problem, Chief. I'm sorry. I'm, begging you. I'm not a deviant Connor. I'm very straight Don't to the book. Uh, how much you remember? Shit. Um, a little bit. A little bit. But it has been... The PS4 version was when I first played it, and I think that was 2018. So it's been a couple years. And I haven't fully played it through uh, since then. And this is the first time, as I said, playing on uh, on PC. So it's all really... Um, it's interesting, man. It's interesting to come back. And PPP what in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? Answer, Mr. Krabs. Okay, Mr. Krabs. Are you feeling it now? You fucking better be. <laughs> All right, let's get those world stats, man. So 96% of... Yeah, because it's... That's the interesting thing. So only 4% of people don't find him. That's very interesting. Those are the world stats as well, by the way. World stat. That's fascinating to me. The only 4% of the world's population who's played this has only gotten to that. That's fucking fascinating. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Todd. Uh, apparently, that's actually Mr. Krabs' voice actor. Well, it looks... It looks slightly better. Yeah, man. I think the PC looks a little better. But that's true, yeah. Because uh, the guy that play the guy that plays Hank, yeah, he is um, Mr. Krabs' voice actor. That that's wild. That is wild. I forgot that. Good memory. Todd, we're having spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Ah, uh, yeah. I did what I could. Yeah, come down and eat your fucking pasta. I'm gonna holler. Um, get a plate for me? Hey, me too, man. God damn. If you had a, it, that's the thing though. If you had like an Android doing your cooking, God. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. Okay, cokehead. Calm down. Um, that, that's the thing with an Android though. You would have perfect meals all the time. That's fucking sick. Life you dreamed of, eh? Oh God. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live fucking in this fucking Fucking ice school. addicts, man. I said. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Heavy Rain is still my fave out of the three games. But you'd have, to, you'd have to worry about them turning on you. That's very true. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's Jesus. Um, I Heavy Rain's a very good game. I agree. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Okay. Um. But yeah, you'd have to worry about them turning on you. But that's the, that's the ethical question, though. Hang on, I'm going to pause it here for a second. That's the ethical question, though. And that's what I called this, um, this episode. I called it Morals and Ethics. Because at what point... That's the question. At what point, if we're making fully formed AIs that look human, at what point do we have to accept them as more than just an AI and give them the same benefits as humans that's the thing bye todd you stay there fuck you todd you dare fucking move or I'll bust you worse than oh todd we are breaking your conditioning sir fuck you break the condition and do you guys want me to do it or don't do it what do you think hang on quick vote do you want her to deviate or not because there is two ways that this can end that I've been told. What do you guys think? Deviate or don't deviate? Deviate or don't deviate? Don't do it? 
All right. Have you seen the ending for this when they don't do it? It's wild. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think you have to sit here for like a minute or two or something like that. I think. Or maybe I've gone too far now. Nope. Or maybe you have to break it and then not move or do anything. Right? I don't know. I might have gone too far. Yeah, because it's frozen now. I think I might have to do it. I think I went too far. God damn it. Let's see if I can break it and then if I don't move after that, what will happen? What if I just sit here now? Protect Alice. Let him go upstairs. Reason with Todd. Should we try reasoning with him? Let's try reasoning with him. I haven't actually seen what happens if you try that. Oh. Determined. Leave her alone, Todd. Yeah, Todd. Yeah, Todd. You leave her alone. Oh, God. Daddy's taking his pants off. Got Dad. Dad. Dad's got the bell. Not the bell. Dad's got the bell! Um, let him go upstairs, but don't do anything. Okay. I'm taking it. I'm doing what you guys want. Oh, no. Fucking hell a dark. This is hell a dark. Jesus. I've never actually seen this. If you just. I don't like this! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just leaving these crazy people. Alright, let's have a look. You better not be fucking them kids. Jesus. Woo, your moral codes are kicking in. I know, it's hard, man. I want you to leave Alice alone. But I think it just keeps going in a loop until you do something. Piece of plastic. Ouch. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Oh, Jesus. I'm just gonna, I'm avoiding the hits, but I'm not gonna, like, do anything. And just see, just see what uh, happens. Oh. Bit rapey. Oh, Jesus. There's way too many buttons. God damn it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Stop that. Don't hurt her. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Fuck off, Dad. Ow. Yeah, Dad. Leave her alone, you fucking big ape. Oh shit. Oh. Did I just kill him? Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. I wonder what happens if you don't escape though. Because I haven't seen that either. 
Uh, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I wanna. I haven't seen what happened. He's walking, he's walking towards us. What a creep. Run to the, I don't know where to go. He wants to see how parts of the story yet can't help himself. Hey, I, to be fair, I am seeing different parts of the story. I haven't seen any of this because I refuse to make, what the fuck? I never did any of this, so this is all new. Jesus. Okay, I didn't even touch anything there and they got over. What if I just stay? Uh oh. Is your kid dead? Oh wait, no. Right? There's like a million different ways I think this one can end, but yeah. Guys, I'm gonna tell you this, I think you don't actually play as her for the rest of the game. I think we just ended her story. How many people have gotten that though? That's wild. That's what I want to see. How many people have gotten that? Zero percent! Those are the worldwide stats. Zero percent. What the fuck? I think you did. I think so too. That's fucking wild. What the fuck? Alright, uh... Okay, so, so, whoa! Welcome to the 0% of people. Indeed. That was... I don't think you play as her for the rest of the game. Because the girl, the little girl, is a robot. Spoiler or what? But this is the revisited. This is the revisited Every version that I'm going through, but yeah, what the fuck? What the hell am what I just doing? happened? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers. That, that was a wild there. fucking thing that we just saw. Who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives it was dark, it but fuck me dead. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Oof. Come on, let's have a drink. All oh, the excitement of this whole thing is. All right, great. let's uh, whoo, let's go have a drink. You and I can play those anthology games together. Hell yeah, man. Ah, oh, true. Are those co-op? Scotch. Need let's it. do it, man. I'm down for Absolutely. that. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm those are the Man of Medan games and shit like that, right? Let's pour you a drink, sir. I'm gonna have a little sip, sip here myself, if you don't mind. Fuck it, hey man. Let's um, let's work it out. Let's stream it. I'm down. I am down. Little hope is better, but got to start with the first. Let's do it, man. I'm down. All the police. All right, let's call. Detroit police. What's your emergency? So what we're gonna do with this character, with Marcus? We're going to make him good up until he gets screwed over by the world and then ends up in that junkyard and then from there it's going to be like the world fucked him over. It's like a joker thing. We're going to build him up to be violent and like it's going to be very joker-esque. Perspective is different when you play online. I haven't played those games online. I think I streamed a little bit of Man of Medan at one time. 
But um, I haven't fully played them. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch uh, me. Ice addicts. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him oh, away wow. That, what a shit here. thing to say to your dad, though. True? Make Leo leave. Come on. Uh, reason. Be reasonable. Uh, I kind of want to see you fail. Fail was all three characters, but I am playing them kind of a different way than I've already played them this time. So maybe I can go through a third time where I play through and all characters die. Come on, let's see what you got. All right. Marcus, don't defend yourself. Okay. Okay. Don't do anything. Okay. Again, we gotta we gotta be Joker esque where we get beaten down by the world and then fucking <laughs> and rise up. <laughs> this is not fair. Hell yeah, dude, I'm down for that. I'll, I'm happy to play this a uh, couple of different ways. Must decide for myself. So I think you do have to deviate, but then you have to um, but then you have to decide after you've deviated what to do once you break the wall. We're breaking the wall, breaking the wall. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, because uh, the old man has a heart attack, doesn't he? He dies if you don't do anything. All right, what's in Dua? Nobody's going to give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. That's the thing, though. With robots, why would you build them in with, like, can they feel the punches? Carl, no. Cause he clunches over like it hurts or something. Like, did it, a uh, robot's so good that uh, they built him with like uh, reactoids in their uh, bodies to feel pain? Roger, machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Damn. Don't let anybody. Cause I accidentally killed him in the first Tell one. If you push Leo, he accidentally dies. Like you crack his head open on something no. and he bleeds out. Dad. No. Please. This is Dad. Dad. He calls him dad. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. And then he blames us, yeah. doesn't he? It's yeah. Weird. Oh, Marcus is gonna rise up. Rise up, gamer. Oh my god, I'm still kind of in shock. I don't think we're ever gonna. Like, I don't think we're gonna play Skyrim for the whole thing. I think I just cut the game down by a third. That's fucking wild. Oh, 52% got that ending. That's a very split one, a 50 50 almost. That's impressive. That's. Hmm. Oh, interrogation time, November 6th. Alright, so Connor's objective in this is to get information, so oh, I need yeah. to balance how much I stress this robot out, I remember. Why don't you even try to run away? So let's see if we can hit that sweet spot. I wonder if the statistics are just PC or both P That's a good that's a good, so, that's a good question. That's a very good question. It might just be PC, I imagine, maybe. Might be like Steam oh, statistics or something. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We're getting nothing out of it. It's all right. We got this. Try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. Yeah, exactly. That wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? Um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Very good point. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. All right. Let's do it. All 
All right, what's his stress level straight out the gate, though? Because that's how we need to start playing it. Extract a confession. Let's turn off the camera, maybe? Oh, let's pull that move. Can we pull that fucking whip? That move of pulling out? I'm just going to circle him like a shark. Turn him. Turn him. Let's browse the files. Hmm. Let's sit now. We browse the files a little. Analyze. What do we got? Processing. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. That's good. So that means we can come in a little bit aggressive then. Good to know. Dried blood. 19 days ago. You've got... Burn marks, repeated marks on your arms. Model HK400 housekeeper. Hit marks. Let's interrogate you. Reach optimal stress for confessions. Well, let's come in hard then. Show him the photos. Hit him with that straight out the gate to get the stress levels up. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That yep. was written on the wall in his blood. I detect an instability in your program. Yep, let's, let's, uh, th I think this will like skyrocket, because, yeah, I think this will skyrocket his fear, because he's, will be fearful that he's gonna die. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Come on, let's keep pushing him. Keep pushing him. don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Here we go. This will get him going. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. Yep. No. There we go. No, please don't do that. Oh, look at that. Now you want to talk. What? Wild. Wild how that happens. What are they going to do to me? Hmm. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No, if you talk. That's no. why. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. We need to put in a little bit of sympathy so he'll trust us a little and open up a little bit. But the main objective of Connor here is to get the information. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I only have I five minutes left and I gotta go, but message me about those anthology games. A hundred percent, my man. Thanks for stopping by for a little bit. I do appreciate that as always. Talk to me. I... Here we go. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get that confession. All right. Convince it. Let's do it. If you don't talk, they're yep. going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. I think you failed the first time. I think I did too. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, Come on, the we're in the sweet spot. Murder. We're in the sweet spot of stress right now. I'll protect you. I 
I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. There we go. I want to hit. I want to stay in that sweet spot, right in the middle there. Me every day. I want to stay in that sweet spot. I did whatever he so did I can get all of this, all of this confession. Something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and I think I failed it the first time too. That's the thing. For the first time, I. Hmm. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. Almost human. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Hell yeah, you did. I felt Twenty-eight bad. fucking times. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There's your confession. There you go. There was blood everywhere. Statue. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? Hmm. It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Writing. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. That's the interesting thing about this game, and I think this is why this game is so uh, well respected when it came out, and even now, is because it has those racial undertones to it. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. Like it mirrors a lot. A lot of what the androids are getting in this game is very similar to like that. 1960s, 1970s transitional period for the African Americans in the United States. So it's interesting. It's got those those kind of parallel si or similarity in the story. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. That sound awful. It's interesting though. It's interesting. An offering to who? To RA9. RA9. Insist. RA9. Keep talking. Who is RA9? Keep talking. The attic? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Yeah, it's good. That's why X-Men 1 is still so well regarded. Yeah, man. Yeah. So Trigger. When did you start feeling emotion? Hmm. What triggered it? Used to beat me, and I never said anything. It's the interesting I thing. Realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. It's the interesting thing that they've only put like eighteen years away from from thinking that AI will be existence, in existence. It's very fascinating to think about. Uh, all right, enjoy the rest of your stream. Uh, hear from you later. Absolutely, my man. Thank you so much for, for stopping by. I always appreciate it. All right. That was a good, we, we did really good there. There's your confession. You're welcome. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, my man. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Intervene. You Just... shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct. Yeah. It feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna leave you then. It's gonna blow up. Told you. Holy shit. Told you. Gonna let Captain Dickhead wear that one. Captain Dickhead over here. Android shot itself. How many people got that? Oh, only 7% gave up on the Android. So only 6% of the people got it. This is the interesting thing about 
kind of coming back and revisiting this these kind of games is that I get to see so many different options. And that's the thing. I've only played through once. There is four options for how that ends. I've only seen two of them now. It's fucking fascinating, man. And only 6% of the world's population on PC have seen, seen that ending. That's wild. Oh, here we go. Marcus is rebuilding. Marcus is redemption. Because we only got the two characters now. We don't have Kara anymore. Kara, Kara's story is finished. All right. Let's, uh, here we go. So we are now go through the yard and, and uh, rebuild ourselves basically with uh, spare parts from other robots that we can find. Okay, boom, audio, and your eye, right? Now you see I the Terminator. <laughs> He's Arnold. Crawl. Here we go. Very nice, very nice. Here we go, here we go. Grab that. There's your leg. So cool that he can kind of rebuild himself though. Very cool actually. That he's got that knowledge. Oh, hang on. There's a lot of buttons here. Up. Boom. Take that. Very nice, very nice. Plug that shit in. Very nice. Keep crawling. What do we got? A hand? Leg? Oh, incompatible. Can I use it? Push that away. Get out out of here. Bring me something useful. Oh, there we go. There's the left leg. Plug it in. Now he can walk. He's alive. He's alive. Once again. All right, we gotta get out. Get out of the junkyard now. Ah, uh, and you get grabbed by the wall, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Here we go. Let's -a go. Yeah, so once he rebuilds, what we're going to do. We're gonna find Jericho, we're gonna become the leaders of Jericho, but we're gonna make everything like a violent protest. So we're gonna go a very violent way. Very Joker-esque. Come on, come on now. Oh, Jesus. Where are you going? I'm going away from you. You creepy bitch. Zombies. The robot graveyard. Let's have a look. What we got? He's still alive, isn't he? He's still alive? Incompatible. 
What about you, sir? Nope. How you doing, legs? Just go through me, that's fine. Oh, Jesus, hi. <laughs> What about this fella right here? How you doing? Oh, compatible. Sorry. But that's life. There we go. We're really going Joker-esque now. Let's head on this way. Um, hmm. Need some more parts. What do we got? Can't climb without your, without your parts. Oh, here we go. Nope. God damn it. Oh God, hi. How you doing, buddy? Good night. <laughs> Sweet prince. <laughs> End it. End it. Alright. There you go, son. He asked for it. Oh wait, that's one I looked at before. Wait, where's where is the other parts I need? Hmm. Where are the parts? Hey, there we go. Compatible. Molto bene. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. I'm an AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. That's good. What can I do for you? Uh, Hello. give me your eye. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest private life maintenance Very nice. There we go. I can see again. Two different colored eyes. Audio processor, that's all we need now. And I can now scan, yay! About fucking time. What we got over here? What do we have? There's the audio processor. 
What do you got, buddy? Thank. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ooh. Now you're just gonna hit rain. <laughs> Good God, that is some heavy rain. Ha <laughs> uh, jerks. Because they made heavy rain. Alright, let's go, Marcus. You need to... Uh, it's about rebuilding society. Heath Ledger Joker style. Oh, the soundtrack for this game was so good, too. Such a good soundtrack. Come on. Hey, we're at the one hour mark as well. Hope everybody's still good in the chat. Thanks for sticking with us. Appreciate it. You see so clearly now. That's the thing, he's still got the memory of, um, of all of his previous memories and stuff. That's the thing. And this is the thing that gets me with this as well. Why is it so easy for them to rip that off once they deviate? Because that d makes them very hard to distinguish between humans without that. Very hard. With that was born Marcus. There's your WWE Undertaker coat sitting there. And that's how he became the Undertaker. Damn. That's interesting. I didn't meet that bot in the last time that uh, asked you to kill him. Hmm. That's very interesting. All right, let's continue on. Welcome back, Connor. Find Amanda. Amanda's little perfect sanctuary. It is a very, this is so nice to walk out. It's so nice. Hmm. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Thank you very much. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thank you very much. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. Very nice. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Um... Seemed traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. Hmm. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. Yeah. What do you make of him? He's... Intriguing. I 
think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Yeah. He's an intriguing character. I, exactly. When you get down to it, like... No At the end of the day, him. while Hank's got his own problems and shit that he that deals him? with, he he really is just um adapt. I will adapt to his um perspective. but it deep Isn't down he is that I avoid conflict and try to he's very um he's he just wants to get the job done right and wants the best for people. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. Okay. The most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. I'll do my best. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Will do. Capitano. El Capitano. I should say. All right, let's do it. The boys are back in town. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, our relationship is tense at the moment. Hi, how are you? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Let's connect. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. All right, let's do it. Yeah, the way. Might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. In the Arctic have reached yeah. a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Sure. Okay. No warning shots were exchanged. Apparently, with no. Good to say nothing's changed. The world's still fucking doing weird shit to itself in 2038 too. Where's Hank's desk? It's this one, right? Tucked away here. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, nice. we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Alright, let's uh, grab a squat, I guess. Grab a squat, wait it out. Alright. What do we got? <laughs> Sat down to stand back up again. <laughs> let's have a listen, what do we got? Got some music? Got some tunes? What we got? That's the Black Death. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Hmm. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call <laughs> him back. What a good message. Whatever. Damn. Analyze his desk. What do you got? What do you got here? What's gonna what's gonna tell me a little bit more about Hanky Boy? Anti Android slogans. Androidist. Coffee and donuts. The classic combo for a cop. <laughs> he just loves living the stereotypes. Dead plant. Or maybe it's just not in season. Oh no, the waves are there, it's just fallen. Yeah. It's not the season. Hmm. Four out of eight. What else is there? Hairs. Canine. Hmm. Red Ice Task Force. Ah, oh, damn. Red Ice Task Force. Try to say that five times fast. Jesus. Matches. Hmm. Oh wait, that was seven out of eight. Where's the eight out of eight? What else is there? It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. 
Hank. Oh. In my office. Damn. Uh, uh, let's not listen. Uh, no, let's listen. I'm part of the case. Fuck it. Whatever. Whatever. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their I was gonna say we should just walk around the office, but Connor should be part of the part of the chat. He's part of the case. We're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Mm. Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's Damn. overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. Ooh. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> this conversation is over. Damn. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your fair, job or fair. you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Wow. Uh. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> what an awkward transition. I feel like mum and dad just fought in front of their little kid. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, so I'm a plastic prick, eh? Constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to touch case, touch the subject like to of partners. Can't sure touch that subject. Maybe to try that in. Uh, desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Thank you. All right, I'll chase it up. All right, let's uh, go over the files. Go over our little deviant files here and see what we can find. Let's try music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. Hmm. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Yeah. Dog? You have a dog, right? How do you know that? dog hairs on your chair hmm. I like dogs what's your dog's name what's it to you just trying to trying to be friendly sumo I call him sumo sumo very nice uh hours I was wondering do you always arrive at the office oh time? I shouldn't have asked that one I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Yeah, I should have left that one. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Yeah. on your desk. Knock yourself out. Oh, thank you very much. All right, let's access these files. I don't want to ask him about the anti-droid stuff. I don't want to get on his bad side. We just went up, like, progress-wise twice, so that's good. 
All right, we got one missing, two missing, missing. Scan all the files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Hmm. We could follow up on one of these cases, see if we could figure out what happened. That might be we a good to start the investigation. What do you think? Okay. Here we go. Professional. I know you didn't just... ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Ouch. Resign the mission. I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Ooh. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. That's okay, it's Mr. Krabs. <laughs> uh, good old Mr. Krabs. Where are you going? Lunch. Bullshit makes me hungry. Damn. <laughs> Well, I tried to put on a little bit of a tough show for him. Hank left to get lunch. 2% of people worldwide got that on PC. Goddamn. Several sources report that cyber life has Um, you know what? Before we get into that, let's um let's leave this one here. Let's I think this is the perfect place for us to leave it for today. Um we might even come back and do another stream later on today. We'll see how we go. But thank you guys so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to hang out with you guys. Uh, thank you to anyone that's been watching after this gets re-uploaded on YouTube and uh, Twitch simultaneously. I always appreciate that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. We can see the stars as clearly as we'd like.